Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plans with Amanda. In this video, we're decorating my vertical catch-all happy planner for the week of November the 27th through December the 3rd. We're pulling stickers in from Hello Winter from Live Love Posh. This is a fairly new sticker book. It actually just is one of the newest ones they've got. Um, it is still available on the website, so I will leave a link to the website down below. It is an affiliate link. Use my code AMANDA10 for anything at Live Love Posh except Posh Boxes, but this sticker book is a deluxe sticker book, and it is, I believe, 60 pages of all winter stickers. They're so pretty. Um, I'll also link a flip through of this sticker book down below as well if you want to see the whole thing. Um, I did pull some washi tape, some grid washi. Uh, we're we're going to be using these pretty pink stickers here. They're my favorite set in the sticker book, so I wanted to take advantage of using these as soon as Thanksgiving was over. So um, it's these cute little, um, the pink with the snowman and the deer. It's just so cute. I love the little snow globe. And then we've got some snowflakes and ice skates, and so just really cute stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out a couple of the pages. The sticker books from Live La Posh are all, all perforated now. Well. They may not all be perforated on the website because some of them are older, but the newer ones are perforated so that you can take the pages out really easily. And then the binding is made a lot stronger than it used to be on these types of sticker books. Um, they've made some changes, and so it keeps the books better um, together a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and sit this to the side. We are going to be pulling box stickers from the same sticker book. In the back here, we've got some pinks and mauves and the greens and so i think we can make these work actually really well um, this color of green with the pinks i think are going to work really nicely so i'm going to have this set to the side and i'm going to be pulling boxes from here all right like i said this is our first week of planning after thanksgiving so i'm really excited to jump into some winter and christmas spreads and these are my favorite so definitely wanted to be the first ones i want to start with the washi tape because i think i want to bring it down across the bottom on both sides I wanna tear it first, so let me do that. I'm just debating on whether I wanna start at the line or go to the bottom of the page. Or I could even come down like this, which I might do. I've never done that, but let me go ahead and tear this and then we'll see what it looks like. This is just simple grid washi. Um, I got this from AliExpress, but it is also available on Amazon. I think I might have another roll. If not, I'm gonna be buying some soon anyways. Okay, so this isn't tearing very easily, so let me see if I can... I was trying to keep it pretty thick, so that's it's a little bit harder when you want to do that because this side gets a little bit too thin. That's okay, though. We can make it work. Okay, I think I've got that piece. Let me see what this is going to look like. So I kind of like it like this, covering up that bottom line, but coming down just a little bit to give myself more room. And I'm just gonna use that grid washi to line up because I can see that line underneath. And I'm just gonna use that top grid full line that I've got to line it up so it's straight, I think. It looked straight at first and then it started not looking straight. So let me do it this way. I can see through that and keep it straight that way. And I do think I want it to come off the page. Um, well, I don't know yet, so I'm just gonna wait to decide until I get this one done. So I'm actually gonna bring this side over here to this line. So I'm gonna tear it about right here. I'm using this to kind of line up to make sure I've got it the same on both sides. I think that's pretty good. So what I want to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and just tear it. I don't want it to come past that line. And here I'm going to go ahead and cut this side off. And then we can decide. Actually, no. I'm going to I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to kind of uh, tear it on the edge right there. Yeah, I like that. And then on the middle. I think I'll do the same thing on the insides. And I'm not using my washi cutter because I don't want it to be a straight tear. I'm just starting it with kind of like with my fingernail and then just tearing it from there. 
All right, that's cute. I like that, kind of brings it down just a little bit. So there's a few things that I definitely want to use from these stickers, and one is this big cabin, and one is the deer. So let's pull some wax paper. Before I start putting stickers down, I kind of want to get an idea of where I want to put some things. I want some flowers and I want the snow globe. So I think the cabin I want to put right down here and I'm just gonna kind of layer it with that washi, which I don't know that I would have had to tear it, but some of it may be showing, so it'll be fun. Yeah, like that. Gonna pull these flowers off too to see because I want some flowers in the corner down here I think yeah I'll use these to cover that cover that up I don't have to white it out since I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go ahead and put some boxes in I think so let's go ahead and pull out a couple of the green. I think I want to primarily focus on the pink boxes. So, but I like this color green. It really uh, matches with those leaves right there. Could use some bullet points too, maybe. I'm gonna use both colors of pink, the darker and the lighter. Not the darkest though, just the, the kind of like the lightest and the medium. Pull off a couple of the smaller boxes. Let's bring this box in. Let's bring it in on, on Tuesday with a green for Wednesday. And then we'll bring in a, a little paint box to layer or to group with that. Okay. And then I want to bring the other pink box and pull it in up here on Sunday. Whoop. Like that. I'll do the darker pink. Actually, bring it up some. Okay, and we can pull in the small green one with that. Okay, I like that. I think I want to put the deer right down here. Put her right here. So cute. And then the snow globe, I think maybe right here I can move that green box or I could put it up here. Kind of like it up here, kind of, uh, and I could cover up those dots there. Okay, before I do that, I want to see what kind of quotes I have. There's not any quotes in this sticker book, I don't think. Let me just make sure. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. I knew that. I like the baby it's cold outside. That's really cute. And then let it snow. How about that? That's cute too. I think that, and then I have this tiny little cold hands warm heart that's really cute too that I, 
I like the look of those together. So let me, um, let me see if those will work. So I was thinking maybe like with a quote with maybe the snow globe somewhere right through here. Whoops, I didn't mean to stick that on top of that box sticker. There we go. Yeah, but I want to cover those dots up as best I can. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some white out on them. Yeah, let's go ahead and just put this down. So we'll place this first. And I'm going to bring it up just so I can cover up a lot of that white out. And turn it just a little bit. Then the let it snow can be right underneath it and it can cover up the other spot of white out. And there's no, I thought there was a hair or something underneath there, but there's not. We'll bring the let it snow in right here. Cute. Very, very cute. Okay. So now, I think I'll bring the baby it's cold outside down here, uh, right next to the cabin. I love these quotes. I love the size of them. The font is adorable. And I like the accents that are added on these, especially with the snowflakes. Um, and the little stars. It's just really cute. Okay, very cute. Okay, I like that a lot. And let's bring in the flowers. So I wanna do, I wanna do like I did, I think it was last week. I cut the flowers down the middle and I put a half on, well, I actually didn't cut those down the middle. There were two, two cut stickers. Um, that already had edges, but for this, I'm gonna cut down the middle, clean my scissors off because I don't want scissors, uh, stickers sticking to this, and I'm gonna put half on one side and half on the other side. Kinda like that. And then this one can come in down a little bit because I don't want them right next to each other, but I want maybe one down some. And then the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put some bullet points in and some more flowers because I don't want the flowers just to be in the center. Well, let's bring some flowers in first just so we can have those balanced and then we'll put the bullet points. And the other thing I wanna do as I'm noticing it just now, I want this other tree on here. I'm gonna bring it in right down next to this quote over here. Okay. All right, let's bring this one that's cut over on this side. I'm gonna break the box up just a little bit though. On this one I'm gonna bring it in kind of right up here with the snow globe somehow I don't know about that though um, I kind of like that but I think I want to cut it so that it's at the top of the box there got some a bunch of other cute stickers in here that I want to use but I think I need to bring some bullet points in first and then also have the other quote that I pulled 
Let's go ahead and bring some uh, green bullet points in down here. And then we'll put some pink ones here. We'll do the dark pink, well, the medium pink. I'm probably going to switch these around a little bit because I'm going to have two pinks over here, I think. So I think I'll go ahead and put the put these ones here and then put the light pink down here and then the green over here so that I don't have the uh, both pink colors on the same page. pull some snowflakes in too y'all these are too cute not to use Bring this scrap in over here. All right. Let's go ahead and bring this one in over here, but I'm gonna cut it down so I can layer it with these boxes. Probably should have done this a little bit different. I should have um, <clears throat> just raised the boxes up because I'm not sure if I'm making a good cut or not. Let's see. Oh, I didn't do too bad. The only thing I did was pull up my box a little bit, but I think that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. I still got a little bit here that I can use. So I'm gonna cut this off straight. And we'll bring this little piece in up here. I'm gonna bring this one in right here, but this time I'm just gonna raise up my box sticker. <laughs> of it without tearing it up. There we go. Okay. The cute little snowman. Of course, we have one here, but he's adorable. He might need to come on the page. I like that for up here. We also have our quote. It says, cold hands, warm heart. Which, so we've got a quote here, a quote here, so we might need something maybe right here with the little snowman. So I'm going to cut the bottom of this off so I can get uh, to his boots there so he can stand on top of the box. Oh, that's so cute. And then I think on this one, I'm gonna cut the little mitten off. It's cute, but I want to get it a little closer to the little snowman. I can save it for maybe something else. Let's see. Okay, I think it's gonna work all right. 
cute. I think though, I'm sorry, I think I do want to make one more small change to this quote. So I want to cut the little dots off. This one, and I'm going to cut this one off of this side since I'm cutting it off of the other side. And then I think it's going to work fine. The little hearts are so cute though that we need to leave those. Cute. Much better. All right. What else? We need a little something else up here. We've got this light pink flower. Okay, I think I'm going to move the snowflake. And bring this flower in right up here. I'm going to turn a little bit of the white off of the edge. And get it a little closer to that flower. And that's going to fit in there perfectly. Yeah, I like that. And then we can bring the snowflake over to this side of the quote. Mm. So cute. Okay. this there that's cute all right I'm gonna move this snowflake up here and bring this one in over here and I'm just gonna use the same cut edges I think it'll it'll work fine yeah that's good let's bring this one in right over here I like this one, this little snow day mug right here. Yeah, I think I want to change something up here. I'm not quite sure. It's kind of busy and it's kind of sporadic. So I think, I think I'm going to move this snowflake. this snowflake. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to do something because it's just too busy. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm not sure what I cut out of that, but whatever I did, this was bugging me. It was too busy, and I just had to get it cleared up just a little bit. I did want to maybe pull in a couple of more boxes. I've got a small pink box here, and I think I want to pull in a green one with it. If I can get one out. And actually, I'm not going to... Let's see. Yeah, I like that. We're going to leave that alone. What else does it need? I think it needs nothing. I think I'm done. So, like I said, I know I got a little bit tied up with this, so I probably cut a lot of that out, but I think it's really cute. I love how it's turned out. These were my favorite stickers in the sticker book, so I was excited to use them. Um, it, Hello Winter is the sticker book that we used for all the stickers in today's spread. It is still available on liveloveposh.com. You can use my link below. It's an affiliate link. Um, I might have already mentioned that in this video. I don't know. Um, code Amanda 10 will save you 10% at Live Love Posh. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you like the spread in this video. If you do, go ahead and hit that like button down um, below and hit the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you. Um, as a subscriber. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.